So are you ready to strike it rich in Dragonflight? Then you're going to need to grab your pickaxe and follow me underground because I have the best tips and tricks for making millions with mining. In this video, we'll cover everything that you need to know to become a master miner, some beginning tips on talent trees and even professions gear and a lot more. So if you're ready to mine your way to the top, then let's get started. All right, so mining is a popular profession in Dragonflight that allows players to gather valuable ore and other resources from various mining nodes in the game. These resources can be sold on the auction house or used to craft valuable items, and these include some severite ore, draconium ore, gems, and rousings. And this makes mining a key source of gold for many players in Dragonflight. In this video, I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know to become a successful miner and make millions in Dragonflight with mining. We'll start off with discussing the important part of setting up your talent tree, choosing the right gear, as well as consumables. Then I'll start covering some of the routes, the professions pairing, and a couple of other things. So if you're ready to start raking in the gold, let's get started. First off, we're going to cover the talent trees and how you should be spending your knowledge points and why. So when it comes to gold, making and gathering there is a singular thing that is no matter what the most important thing that you need to do and that is getting your mining process skill tree maxed that should be a priority over all other things once you hit this max you can mine nodes without dismounting which is one of the best quality of life things that you can do for yourself being able to fly around and mine while mounted and then run away quickly will save a huge amount of time having to fight npcs or run away from them if you're squishy. Once you have that, you do have a couple of choices of secondary spending, but hands down, you will make the most gold with a surveying specialization because you're optimizing the amount of ores that you get, their rarity, as well as unlocking eliminated diamonds that have a huge boost on your gold per hour. So now let's talk about some routes. There are tons of ways that you can run around the Dragon Isles and farm mining nodes. And of course, I have favorites, first being the route here near the Temporal Conflux. Now, I'd have to say this is probably my favorite route, but it does have some barrier to entry. You do have to have completed the campaign quest through the quest where it requires you to follow Chromie into the Temporal Conflux, because that's how you get the portal opened. Now, once you've done this, the route is very simple. Come into the portal and fly around the outside here and once through the middle. As you can see, the mobs in this area pack a punch, which is why the talent tree for mining while mounted is again so important. Once you've done that, you're going to be coming back through the portal and then do the same lap outside of the portal. Come this way north, loop around, and come back. And then you'll jump back into the portal and rinse and repeat. This route is stupidly easy and gives you a lot of high quality ores and is probably the most dense for draconium ores that I've found. Now, my second favorite route is this one here in the Waking Shores. I'll have both of these listed below for those of you that want to import them straight into your routes add-on. This one is simply pathing loop that follows the waterways here in the Waking Shores. This one is great for getting Severite and Draconium ores, and if you're wanting to optimize this a little bit further, then you should be paired with Herbalism. If you're needing help picking professions, then make sure you check out my beginner guide to Dragonflight gold making coming soon. Now that you have your talents out of the way, what you need, and where you need to farm, let's talk a little bit about about consumables, profession gears, and some additional tips. So of course, the basics are going to be buying your first pick, bag, and mining helmet. I would highly recommend buying the pick with the perception stat over anything else. You can mitigate mining speed with Dark Moon Firewater, so buffing the amount of items that you're going to get will obviously only increase your profits. Along with that, I would get the rank 3 Draconian Perception enchant to boost this further, along with the Crystal Vials of Perception to once again boost your perception. The vials can be found on the work orders and are fulfilled very quickly. Once you've got the routes down, start making some gold and become comfortable in gold making with mining, then you can look at using your artisan's metal to upgrade to the blue quality profession gear. And my final tip is something that a lot of people forget about, and that is making sure that you come back into your dragon riding talents while you're farming and change your dragon riding skill here over to give you deafness when landing around NPCs. This will allow 
allow you to fly down a lot easier around sleeping NPCs and others and never wake them instead of coming in hot and drawing unnecessary attention to yourself. Now, moving on, we'll have a little chat about how you can optimize your profits. So for most of you starting out, if you followed my advice, you're more than likely dual gathering or at least mining with blacksmithing, engineering, or jewel crafting as your secondary. If you have dual gathering, then it's simple enough to say that you're going to be just selling the materials outright on the auction house, which even this so far, this expansion is making some serious gold. If not, then you're going to have to have your crafter and then you're going to be focusing on what items that you can make to make profit. So I just highly recommend that if your profession doesn't use the item, then obviously just sell it on the auction house and then only flip the items into crafts whenever they're profitable, which we will cover in each of the professions guides that I have coming out shortly. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And that's a wrap on my beginner's mining guide to making millions in Dragonflight. I hope you guys found all the tips and tricks shared to be valuable and that you're well on your way to striking it rich in the game. Remember, mining is all about finding the right spots, using the right techniques, having your gear set up with consumables, and turning your hard-earned ores and gems into mountains of gold. With a little bit of time and effort, you can mine your way to the top and become a millionaire in Dragonflight in no time. If you're interested in more exclusive content, routes, posts, and more, including TSM profiles, then make sure you support me on Patreon. Thanks to everyone that's supporting me so far. You're all amazing, and let's make those millions.